Hi, my name is Fernando, and I'm going to show you some tricks about home group and setting your Xbox 360 so it can see your video library, music library, and all that. So generally what usually happens if you don't have home group in the Xbox 360 communicating, you'll get this issue. So I'm starting up the Xbox at the moment. signing in and if you browse to my Xbox and go to video library and you click on your actual computer and you see can't connect make sure you have this act uh, make sure you have activated this console on your computer now um, this is what you have to do in order to correct that issue so um, let's go to network and sharing center And in here, you have to make sure you have a home network. Um, it can't be the work network or the other network. It's got to be a home network in order for you to set up a home group. So go to home group. And in here, you, you're able to select what uh, actual items you want to choose. You know, pictures, music, videos, printers, all of that. I usually just check all of it. Um, I uncheck documents. I don't know why, but anyway, I'll, I'll check it later. So you want to go to uh, choose media streaming options and you see here the Xbox 360 devices access is blocked. So if you come here and go to allowed, click OK and do stream my pictures and hit save changes, you should be OK. So if come out of here, close this um, and I'll bring up the corrected version of what you should get starting up the Xbox. I've already did this before so I just recorded it and now I'm showing you what I've done. Signed in. I'm going to go to my, X my Xbox. Go to video library. And once I click on my actual computer, uh, you'll see right there, I have the actual videos um, and all that stuff. Uh, uh, pictures, shared videos, videos, DVD rips. Those are DVDs that I bought for my for my little child. Um, so, and the C folder. Um, and that's what you have to do in order to get your Xbox uh, to see your home group and your videos. And you're good from there. All right, so have fun.